That's water down there. It looks like that would not be pleasant. Don't you dare. Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day. It's still chilly, but the sun is out. It's a wonderful day. A good day for our last little nature trip. We're gonna head up into Door County and check out one more spot on Lake Michigan before we wrap up the nature portion of this trip and turn around and head to Milwaukee for the final two days of this trip. A big thanks to everyone here in Green Bay. They were so wonderful. Uh, everybody at the university, everybody at Lambeau Field here at the hotel. Uh, it's been a wonderful stay. I certainly will be back, try to maybe catch a Packers game at some point. I bought a hat uh, to symbolize the, the trip to Green Bay. It'll go well with my Vegas Golden Knights hat I got in Vegas over the summer. Um, but now we're going to head to Door County, and I'm hoping to get some wood-fired pizza if the place is open. They have some winter hours that are a little different, so fingers crossed. I continue my drive into Door County and it's as advertised, it's beautiful. I can only imagine how pretty it is in the fall before all the leaves fall off. But if there's one sign that makes me not want to live here full time, it's the one I've seen several of that's coming up again right here. You don't see a lot of snowmobile signs in Southern Ohio warning drivers to watch out for people on snowmobiles. Thankfully, no snow to be found today, but if those signs are up, and I've seen one every couple of miles, uh, it just tells you how much they deal with snow here on the Door Peninsula. And as beautiful as it is, there are probably times of the year where it's not a lot of fun to get around, but thankfully today is not one of those times. Let's continue down the road to the Door Peninsula, or through the Door Peninsula see what we can find. So we've entered Whitefish Dunes State Park, which I believe we're going to enter a county park after that, but I wanted to note that for the video. I can get back to my... It's going to be windy for the next three miles. I'm not surprised. I am out here. Not a lot of other cars out here, probably because it's November. <laughs> People probably don't come out here when it's 36 degrees, but it's beautiful out here. And again, I just, I can only imagine how packed these roads are September and October when all these trees that are dead now are just changing colors and it would just be really, really beautiful to drive down through here. So we've now moved to Cave Point County Park. As you can see, this road is even narrower than the previous ones, but it's a really beautiful area coming up here that should give us a good look at Lake Michigan one more time before we head back to the city. Once again, there was a marker there that talked about the geological history of Cave Point. That was fascinating information, but it wasn't as fascinating as the amazing view of Lake Michigan. It was another beautiful sight on a trip that was full of beautiful sights. While the waves weren't as aggressive as they were at Wind Point earlier in the week, you could still see them rolling in, and you could hear them smashing up against the rocks. It 
was another wonderful trip out into nature. My stops along Lake Michigan truly were the highlight of my trip to Wisconsin. The weather was nice enough to enjoy them, but not so nice that the lake was crowded. It was perfect. My next stop was up to Fish Creek to try some wild tomato wood-fired pizza. With all due respect to Chicago-style pizza, this was the best pizza I had on my trip. They had a great outdoor dining space that wasn't open during my trip, but I highly encourage you to stop if you are ever passing through the Door Peninsula. With a full stomach and a phone full of more videos of Lake Michigan, it was time to head south, back through Green Bay, and down to Milwaukee. Once I got to Milwaukee, I got to drive over another high bridge. It's as if Waze knows my fear of heights, so it made sure to have me drive over yet another tall bridge. So in both Green Bay and Milwaukee, I picked my hotel based on some of the other things I wanted to do. In Green Bay, I stayed near Glambo Field, as you saw. Here in Milwaukee, because I have a 5.30 a.m. flight on Sunday, I stayed at the airport. In both cases, though, that's left me about a 20-minute drive or so to where Green Bay plays and where Milwaukee plays. It would kind of be like getting a hotel room in Milford to go watch NKU, but I definitely didn't want a long drive in the morning when I'm already going to have to get up really super early, so we head on over to Milwaukee. It was another great game. Kamari Mitchell-Steen hit the reverse layup here. And Carissa Garcia beat the shot clock and knocked down a three. Unfortunately, the Norse couldn't pull off the sweep as the Panthers won. I headed back to the hotel to relax and get ready for an early Sunday morning. It's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. Actually, with apologies to Rob Thomas, it's like 3.30 a.m. Which means it's time for me to catch my flight and head back to Cincinnati. Uh, it's been a wonderful week of traveling. Hopefully you've enjoyed the videos over the past few weeks. Uh, it's been a lot of fun making them. And I look forward to making more travel videos. Hopefully people will find them interesting uh, and they'll check them out. And we'll be able to continue to do this. Uh, please like and subscribe if you really do enjoy it. And then allow me to make more videos in the future and know what you want me to do and uh, maybe things to avoid in future videos. So for now, it's time for me to head to the airport and get ready to board a flight to Detroit first and then to Cincinnati and bring this week to a close. So let's do it. So now I have a three hour layover in Detroit. It's supposed to be about a half hour layover, but had some issues getting fuel into the plane in Milwaukee. So because of that, I missed my connection by about 20 minutes. So now I'm here for a good three hours. But it's kind of cool, nice airport, and this tram thing is getting ready to come by. It's pretty neat. Actually takes you from one end of the terminal to the other. So you don't have to walk it. It's a pretty long walk. I walked it because I have nothing but time. But if you're in a hurry, that's pretty cool. The wait continues. Spin this light around. It's shining in my face. I stayed in two of the hotels for one night. The La Quinta in Chicago and the American American, American, kind of hard to say. There were two of the hotels I only stayed in for one night. La Quinta downtown, the American Inn. Should, uh, American, American. 